In the last lesson, we learned the theory behind indexes, what they are, and how they're used in RavenDB to provide fast query results. We also learned that there are two kinds of indexes, static and dynamic. Static indexes are indexes that you create through code or through Raven Studio, whereas dynamic indexes are indexes that RavenDB automatically and dynamically creates for you in response to a query. In this lesson, we're going to be working with dynamic indexes. So we've just created a new database here and created a few documents in it. Notice that there are no indexes here on recipes. The only index is the system documents by entity name index that Raven creates for us to do things like show us documents by entity name here in the documents tab. But there are no indexes on recipes because we haven't actually issued any queries to Raven yet. So let's go over to the code and query for some recipes and see how indexes get involved. For this first sample, let's query by name. We've got our session here connecting to our Raven database. And let's issue a query. So here we're querying by recipe name. And let's evaluate that to list. And if we run that, we should see some recipe names returned. There is our one recipe with that name. Now let's go over to Raven Studio and see how did indexes play a role in fulfilling this query. You'll notice we now have a new index created, auto recipes by name. Where did this come from? Well, when Raven saw that we queried recipes by name, it looked for an index that could satisfy the query, step one. Since no such indexes existed, it created this new index dynamically, hence the name auto or dynamic index, and then it computed the results and returned them back to us. Now, any future queries for recipes by name will be near instantaneous because the heavy work to find recipes by name has already been done. So let's have a closer look at this new dynamic index. We'll click the pencil icon to edit the index definition. And here we see the definition of the index. That is, it's a C-sharp link function that simply selects the fields that are going to be queried. In this case, it's going over all the documents dot recipes. So it's looping over the recipes. And then it is selecting the name field. This is the definition. So when, whenever a new recipe comes in, Raven will update the output of this index. That is, it will feed the new document into this index and generate and update the on-disk or in-memory data structure so that we can search quickly for recipes by name. Let's take this a step further and do a range query. So we're saying where the name is this. And let's say or where ingredient count is less than 10. So now we're returning results where it matches this name or a recipe where the results count is less than 10. So let's run that. And there's our results. In this case, we have one matching our name. And we have another one that has ingredient count 5. Let's have a look at where indexes got involved with this one. 
Going back to the studio, going to indexes. We'll see we now have two indexes here, one by name and another one by name and by ingredient count range. And let's edit that index. This new dynamic index queries over either name or ingredient count or both. You might say this index is a superset of the simpler auto slash recipes slash by name, our previous index. That is to say, this new index can fulfill a query by name, making the previous index redundant. Also notice that we have some options set for the ingredient count field. This is needed since we're doing a comparison in our query looking for recipes with ingredient count less than 10.